Hi, and welcome back to Catrin Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is Monday, which can only mean one thing. I've got my top picks for you guys for this new week in comics. So, first off, starting off strong with Aftershock Comics is Animosity Issue 7. So, this is the continuation of the storyline with Jesse and Sander, his cowgirl, and the hound dog trying to survive. Of course, they do have some new friends that they've had for a couple issues now, and now they're dealing with a select group of animals that are hunting them for food. So, pretty rough, pretty rough. So, continuing on with DC Comics is Flash issue 22. This is the continuation of the amazing storyline that is currently going on between Flash and Batman. So they are continuing on through the cosmic treadmills path, chasing after the now deceased reverse Flash. Also, we get another amazing lenticular cover, so check out for that if you haven't already. Next, on to Marvel, is Generation X. So this is another one of the Resurrection titles. And, um, yeah, it looks fun. The art looks good. I'm excited to see what's going to come out of this X title. I'm hoping that this is as good as some of the other ones that's currently going on, like X-Men Blue. I'm really enjoying that one. So, next, back on the indie train, is Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, issue three, The Big Lie. So, The Big Lie has been a really fun book for me. It feels, it feels like an old Nancy Drew or an old Hardy Boys book. And where we left off, Nancy and the boys were kind of... They, they were stuck in a pickle, so um, let's see how the three of them can manage to get their way out. Now, we've seen this book through the perspective of the Hardy Boys and through Nancy Drew, so I'm wondering if we're going to switch back to the Hardy Boys' perspective or if we're going to stay with Nancy Drew's perspective. But I'm liking it so far. It's a good read. Um... Next from Image Comics is Rose Issue 2. So this is the continuation of the girl that has that has these magical powers in this land that they're trying to destroy any sense of magical powers. And I guess there are cat warriors that are a part of it. Um, I don't know. It read, it read pretty well for a first issue. I loved the art. I loved the David Finch cover. So I'm definitely going to be checking out the second one. And I'm definitely intrigued to see what this series is moving forward. So last, but certainly not least, is Teen Titans issue 8. So this is the Lazarus Contract part 2. And hopefully we're going to see how on earth Deathstroke actually got Wally West, Kid Flash, and what exactly Damian Wayne's response to that is going to be, how on earth one of his teammates was taken hostage so easily, what, what are the repercussions going to be moving forward. I'm really interested to see how the two teams interact, especially when we throw in Beast Boy and Starfire, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven dealing with Nightwing and uh, Wally West's Kid Flash and even uh, Donna Troy's Wonder Girl. I'm excited to see how that whole interaction relates. Even the two um, Aqualad and Tempest would be kind of interesting to see how they relate in this moving forward. I really loved the first part of it and all three stories coming out of it, Deathstroke, Teen Titans, and Titans have all been very strong reads so far. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. So yeah, that is by no means the only those, that's by no means the only books that I'm going to be getting this new comic book Wednesday, but those are the ones that I am the most excited for moving on into this week. 
So give me a like if you like this video, comment below and tell me whether or not you're going to be picking up any of these titles or if you're going to be picking up any other books that I should be looking out for or if you'd like reviews of any of these. Um, always up for more reviews. So uh, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Catrin Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.